here from Dreamweaver Designs. This is a quick tutorial on how to use the new Dragonfly silk screens and cutters. This is my dreams design and these are the cutters that will make your job a whole lot easier to cut them out. All the cutters are coordinated with the silk screens. So the largest one will fit right over those and then you have your corresponding side. So this is the actual silk screen for the the butterfly or the dragonfly. If you want to make just the dragonfly wings, there is a version of the top wing in that six this silk screen here, and it also has its coordinating cutters, two for each size. That's the Dreams Dragonfly. The Filigree Dragonfly, excuse, this one's a little messy from using it. I hadn't cleaned it off, but they're very easy to clean. This one is the Filigree Dragonfly and it has coordinating cutters, two of each size. And this is the wings only, and this will be the top wing from the dragonfly and its coordinating cutters. In this tutorial, I am gonna show you how to use the silk screens and the cutters. So it's gonna be a very quick tutorial. We're not gonna get into finishing them off with the resin. If you would like to see that, if you go to my original butterfly tutorial, towards the end, I will show you how to finish it off with the resin. But a lot of people had asked if I would just show them again using the silk screens with the cutters. And I will be back to show you with that. Okay, I'm back. This is black clay, um, for, I'm using kind of scrap clay. It's got a little bit of glitter in that, but that's okay because we're gonna glitterize this anyway. This is um, black Primo Sculpey is what I like to use. And I have conditioned it to a number five on my pasta machine. My pasta machine in number one is the thickest setting. So this is a number five. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take one of the silk screens and we're just gonna go ahead and work with the um, filigree on this. Now these silk screens, you'll see you can read RJ Crafts. That's the side you want up. Shiny side always goes down. I cannot stress that enough. You do not wanna ruin your silk screen by putting it in the wrong direction. So shiny side down. Find a spot on your clay. I usually start with the end and work my way over. And we're gonna go with the largest dragonfly. And the reason I chose the this one to show you is how, you know, one of the ways you can make a body for it. Wanted to show you how you can attach it, or at least how I attach it. Once you play around with these, you know, you can come up with your own techniques. So you wanna get this down, not where you're pushing the clay through it, you don't wanna do that. You just wanna get it down where there's no air bubbles, that it is on the clay and it's smooth. Now for this dragonfly, I'm going to be using Born Pretty Powders, and I'll leave, it, uh, uh, I'll leave the link for these in the description 
uh, since this will be on YouTube and not just Facebook. So I'm gonna be using purple and teal. Now what we're gonna do, I'm thinking I'll do the top wing in teal and the bottom wing in purple. You can do it any way you want, use any colors. You can use paints, you can use cosmic shimmer paste. You know, I just like to use the Born Pretty powders or mica powders, it doesn't have to be Born Pretty. Um, I just found that the Born Pretty is like super sparkly and I love super sparkly. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the teal and I love to use the brushes from Tiny Pandora. They are my favorite brushes. So that's what we'll be using. Teal is gonna go on the top and purple on the bottom. So you just go ahead and get some powder on your brush. And I like to just kind of pat it on there. And then I'm gonna go over it with my finger. And I'm gonna do only one side and I'll do the other side off camera and then we'll go ahead and cut the shape. So I've got all the teal on there that I want. And now we're gonna do the purple on the bottom. And I just kind of wipe my brush off a little so I'm not mixing colors. And dab the purple onto the bottom. All right, so got my powder on there, or my mica, which actually this is a synthetic mica. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of tap with my finger to start kind of pushing that powder down through the holes in the screen. And then just kind of rub a little. You're gonna to wanna to try and get as much powder as you can through the holes on the screen to cover the clay. And go ahead and do that with the top. Now I'm gonna do the other side off camera and I'll be back. All right, I'm back and I've got both sides done and I have rubbed it in lightly to make sure all the powder has gotten down through the holes of the silk screen. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull our screen up and always love this part, the reveal. Look at that sparkle, I love it. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our double wing cutters. And we know that we use the largest one, so you're gonna use the largest cutters in the set. And you're just going to line up, and I'm gonna stand up for this. You're going to line the wings up. All right, well, it helps if you have the correct cutters. <laughs> Plus, I got a phone call, so sorry about that. Now, I do have the correct cutter. These are going to line up. So what you do is you put your cutter over it. Now, you want a little bit of black outline around each wing. So you just kind of eyeball it. And I don't know if I can get the correct angle, but I'm gonna kind of turn that and you'll see that there's just a little bit of black around the whole wing. And put my head in here, make sure. And it looks good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and push down. And I like to give a little wiggle 
a little tug back and forth, another little wiggle, and take the cutter off. And then you're gonna do the same for the other side. Line the wing up. And I mean, it's fairly easy to line it up by just the shape of the butterfly. It's kind of hard to do on camera. Mm. It's actually very hard to do on camera. All right, I think that that's good enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a push. Get that cutter down in there. Give it a little wiggle, a little back and forth, a little wiggle. And I only do that because it gives it, you know, it, plastic, the 3D cutters from anywhere, but from RJ Crafts, but anybody who makes 3D cutters, they are wonderful because you can get any kind of shape, whereas you can't get those from a metal cutter. But they sometimes leave a little extra on the edges that you need to clean up. So, I mean, that's just the nature of the beast. That's, you know, that's how you get better cutters of different shapes. So I always do the wiggle and the back and forth just to leave myself less to clean up. And I don't mind cleaning it up. It is so worth it because I can have pretty much any shape that I want. So as you can see, we do have a little bit of cleanup. A lot of people clean up before they bake. I don't like to mess with the design. I don't want to distort it in any way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bake this and clean it up after bake. And I'm gonna go ahead and bake this now and I'll be back. The first bake, since we're gonna do this twice, we need to put its little body in there and bake again. The first bake is going to be for 30 minutes at 2.75. I'll be back. Okay, we're back and the wings are fully cooled. And it's hard to capture the sparkle. I don't have enough light in here and the resin isn't on it yet to really make that sparkle stand out, but it's pretty darn sparkly. So what we're gonna do now is clean up our edges. And I like to use just a tool that has an edge to it that's sharp, but not like, you know, super sharp, not a razor, it's not gonna cut you. And I just run it along the edges until they're clean. And don't worry about getting, you know, if a little bit gets on the top of the wings, that's okay, we can just blow that off. You don't wanna touch the top yet though because some of that mica can still come off. So you still wanna be careful with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this all the way around for both wings and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I have cleaned up my edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the wings up and over to the side, carefully, not touching the mica on top. And you might still have a little bit on the edge you wanna clean up, you can use your fingernail, whatever, to do that. All right, let me clean this tile off. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to make the body of the dragonfly. And really, that's up to your imagination. You take a little bit of clay and work it into whatever shape that you want. You can make a long body something like that. We'll make it a little bit longer because dragonflies have kind of long bodies to them. And I like to flatten mine a little bit because I don't want it too high up off the wings because remember, you're gonna have to put resin on. And then just bring your wings over and put them up and see if that's something that you like. And I like that. 
so you can make a little head for the dragonfly. Um, you can curve its tail if you want. You know, you can even make it more curvy. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I kinda like that. And I'm not going to make a round head for him, but I'll round it off a little bit more. Now you can also take any kind of tool and you can make, you know, lines in it, dots in it. You can decorate this part any way that you want. That is up to your imagination. I kind of like the design that's in here. So I think I'm going to roll it on there just for the heck of it. Just kind of give it a little something. And before I attach the body, I want to add, I think, a little bit of color to that. And I think I'm gonna make it purple. Might even add purple and blue. So I'm gonna get out my same Born Pretty powders that I used on its body. And don't get the powders on the sides where you're gonna put the wings, because it'll be harder to attach it. So I'm just gonna do you know, a little bit here and there, however you want to do it. You can even do this after bake, um, but I'm going to do it pre-bake. And like I said, you just decorate it however you want. It's your dragonfly. You can make its body look however you want. You could leave it black. You could paint it with acrylic paints. After it's baked, you can, you know, use the mica like I'm using. However you want to do it. You can even give it little crystal eyes up on the top. That, my friends, I'm going to leave to you. But I just wanted to show you how I attach the wings to the body which basically is just like I did the, my butterflies. I bring my wings in, line them up where I want them to go, and push them into the clay. Push the clay down a little onto the wings. I mean, you could use a little bit of um, Bacon Bond or Liquid Sculpey if you want to. I have just found that I don't need to do that because it sticks. As long as you don't have that mica powder there to, to block the dry clay from the, uh, un, or the baked clay from the unbaked clay. So I think that looks good. I'm going to just push it down one more time and make sure everything's flat here where the wing is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bake this again. And this time I am going to bake it 275, but I'm gonna do it for 45 minutes. And I will be back. All right, I am back and the dragonfly is fully baked and cooled. So we'll go ahead and take it off of the tile. And you still don't want to touch. No, it's still a little warm. You still don't want to touch these areas that have the mica on them. But see how sparkly and beautiful that is? And once the resin goes on it, it will be just that much more sparkly and beautiful. And like I said, in this video, I am not going to go through the whole resin process. If you want to look at that, go ahead and on my YouTube channel, which is probably where you're at right now, I do have a tutorial where I've made the butterflies and I have shown on there how to go ahead and apply resin. But I wanted to thank you for joining me. All the supplies used, as well as all the silk screens and cutters will be listed in the description and I will have links for them on where you can purchase these new designs. 
The other design that I showed you that was the Dragonfly Dreams design, you will do that exactly the same way as this one. So, and, and just the single wings if you wanna make earrings. Those will be done the same. The single wings just won't have the little body that you create. So that's it. I wanna thank you for watching. And if you wanna go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, that would be great. Leave a comment, I answer all comments. And that's it till next time. Thanks for watching, bye. Every single day